You can only do live those who are alive. <laughs> Not those who are. Are you alive? I'm dead. I'm dead now. <laughs> You did all the all the kirtans? Yeah. Just like I think they did them all twice. Agyana timirandasya jananjana salakaya chaksur unmilitam yena tasmai sri gurave namaha mukam karati vachalam pangum langayate girin yat kripata mahambande sri guru dinatarine Guru de Gauda Chandraya, <coughs> Radhikaya Dadalaya, Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya, Tada Bhaktaya Namo Namaha, Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Sayam Rupa Kadamayam, Dadati Svapadam Tikam, Vancha Kalpata Rupyasya Kripa Sindhu Vaivacha, Patitanam Pavanipyo, Vaishnavipyo Namo Namaha. First of all, I offer my unlimited Dhanavat pronouns onto the lotus feet. What's the name? Of my Guru Pavanipyo. Onto the lotus feet of my beloved Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Padish, Sudha Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. You need it now? Onto Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, Sri Bhakti Prakyan Kesava Goswami Maharaj, and onto the dear most friends and eternal associates of Sri Gurudev. Sri Bhakti Vedanta Vayam Goswami Maharaj and Sri Bhakti Vedanta Prakyan Goswami Maharaj, I offer my unlimited honor to them. Onto all the Rupanu Guru Varga, who are our eternal well wishes and guardians. I offer my unlimited Dhamma pronouns onto all the devotees who are present here. I advise to Jipad Bhakti Vrata Madhav Maharaj. I offer my humble Dhamma pronouns. Today, by the Prophet's mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and our <coughs> beloved Guru Dev, Adhupandu Guru Varga. We are assembled here in Paris uh, in the house of our dear sister, Dr. Gilastini. Yeah. And we have come together to encourage each other. But you are managing on behalf of the day. Yeah. To encourage each other in the process of in this world, yeah, we have met with so many situations, we have received so many impressions, and they have completely covered us. A living entity is looking for life for fresh air, for a real happiness, but impossible to obtain that unless there is someone who reaches out to us and helps us to come in that area where real happiness, where real life, where we can breathe for eternity. <laughs> yeah. But that is available. So those personalities only who are Coming from that realm, they can help us. Yeah. So we have received the opportunity to be in their presence. Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he came in Western world and he gave his association freely to so many living entities who had no hope otherwise to obtain their real fortune. After that, our Gurudev and many other great Vaishnavas came to Western world, Srila Bhakti Balak Tirta Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Bhai Bhakti Puri Maharaj, Srila Gorgovinda Goswami Maharaj. So many sincere Vaishnavas also in Vaishnavis. 
they are going everywhere in the world and they are proclaiming yeah, the good news that how we can obtain our real fortune. It is said that if we want to obtain something, we should go there where it is available. Isn't it? If we, if we go anywhere where it is not available, we cannot obtain it. If we want pure bhakti, have to go in that area where someone has pure bhakti. So only the pure devotee, he is comprised of that commodity. He has it and he only wants to give that. He doesn't want to receive anything from this world. But still we offer him the things of this world. Sometimes, like we have in this world so many commodities, isn't it? We have vegetables, we have milk, sugar, fruits, nuts. And pure devotee accepts and he offers it to Krishna, he purifies it. If we want to offer anything to Krishna without the help of the pure via medium, Krishna will not have any interest in that. Yeah. If we chant Harina <coughs> and we pray to Gurudev to please help us to connect really with Krishna through Gurudev, then the process is working. If we chant Harina but there is no pure, kind-hearted, via medium, we cannot, we can still chant. Yeah. And it will help a little bit, but it will not give us connection with the spiritual realm. If we chant Krishna's name, being in this world, and we are not interested to pray to Gurudev, yeah, but we are always concerned about how to alleviate our sufferings. One story is there. Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada told the story. Maybe you heard it. Yeah. One lady, she used to carry every day a big uh, burden of a big pile of wood yeah, to use it for cooking and other heating, so many services. So one day she was getting older and the, she had collected so much wood and the wood, with the help of some other friends, she put it on her head and she was about to bring it back to her home. And you know, she found herself alone and the wood fell from her head and it fell on the, on the, on the ground. And she started praying, oh God, please help me. She, please help me. Nobody came and listened to her. So she kept praying more and more. And by her praying, God appeared. Yeah. <laughs> and then God asked, so what do you want from me? He said, please put that file back on my head. Yeah. <laughs> so we are like that. We are carrying with us so many conceptions in this world. Isn't it? I want to solve this problem, that problem. If I have good relationship with this person, then everything will go my way. I will be happy and I can do so many things in life. Yeah. <coughs> so we pray to Krishna, please help me Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Help me to solve this problem. <laughs> but Krishna, he may solve it even. If we are really praying, Krishna may solve it. Yeah. Because Krishna wants to yeah, reciprocate according to what we are interested in. And we only have the information of this world. So even if we contact Krishna by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, we pray to solve all our problems, Krishna will say, I will solve some problem for you, but really, you are not understanding what I want to give you. And we cannot understand what he wants to give us unless we have the experience of that transcendental world. How we obtain that experience? Sita, Takarani, Vivi. Uh, 
about associating with people who know. That they have that experience. Yeah. Unless we associate with the pure devotee, we cannot understand or we cannot perceive or have any impression what is pure devotion. Yeah. How can we associate with them? Come on, Didi. Surrender to them. Surrender to them. Seven. There is so many ways we can associate with them. Yeah. Surrender to them. Yeah. How, how we will surrender to them? Uh, hear their Marikita, follow their instruction. Mm. Mm. Give your life for them. To you. Yeah. They know um, what's best. Our life, give our life, surrender. Yeah. How we can do that? Yeah. How we can associate with pure devotee? Yeah. If he is present amongst us, yeah. the best way is to hear his Harikata and to desire to give him happiness. What is his desire? Pure devotee has only one desire. Savitri Vidhi, what is that? <coughs> to serve them, to serve Radha. To serve Srimati Radhika. That's good. Vidya yeah. <laughs> Nanda Prabhu. He wants to also to engage the souls in the service of the Yeah. Such a good Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Your devotee, he experiences his relationship, loving relationship with Sri Krishna. And he sees that all have forgotten yeah, that which is most dear to them and which will completely fulfill them. How can I give it to them? They don't want it, Krishna. Like when Lord Ichinanda Prabhu went door to door, he gave freely the mercy of Karanga Mahaprabhu. Karanga Mahaprabhu's mercy is that we become flooded in the ocean of Bhakti Ras. That is surrender. We become completely flooded in the ocean of Bhakti Ras. Yeah. Meaning that all the items that we see and perceive in this world, they remind us only of Sri Krishna and his eternal pastimes. Yeah. If we want, yeah, to surrender to Krishna or to Gurudev, we cannot. Only if they help us. So Gurudev's foremost desire, if he engages yeah. in this world, in prachar, yeah. traveling everywhere, that he wants to enter the heart of all those who come to him. And what he will do there? He will clean the heart and make it a very perfect place <coughs> for the eternal pastimes of Sisi Radha and Krishna. And what will we do? Yeah. We want that Radha and Krishna, Mahaprabhu, Gurudev, they should come in our heart. Sometimes we have this desire, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If we are lucky and we chant and we pray, Oh Krishna, Oh Gurudev, please manifest yourself in my heart. Those of us who have received Diksha, I think, all have received Diksha. Savitri Didi, you've also received Diksha. If we chant our Diksha mantras, what do we do? We chant Prachodayat. Please manifest in my heart. Isn't it? Every day we chant. There is process of chanting also. But we are not thinking. When we chant, we think about other things. Isn't it? Our mind is very much everywhere. Cannot control the mind. Impossible. Mind is everywhere except very rare yeah, moments we think about Krishna. Sometimes we think, Gurudev, please come in my heart. Gurudev is already there. Yeah. Gurudev is already in your heart, but we don't look at him. We look everywhere in the world for the things that we consider to be important to make our life more convenient or more happy. Yeah. 
even for service, we want so many things. Yeah. Sometimes we think if I have better facility, then we can do more service for Guru Dev. But better facility, yeah, it will never yeah, be there. The only facility that Krishna has provided for us in this life is this body, mind, yeah, and the material senses. And Krishna is giving us opportunity to purify body, mind, and senses by the process of Harinam. By Harinam Sankirtan, especially when we daily chant our Harinam, yeah, we have opportunity to gradually purify our mind, our heart, yeah, and by that we will desire to engage our tongue, our ears especially, in hearing Harikata, the eyes in seeing, yeah, the descriptions, reading, yeah, the, tr the transcendental descriptions of Krishna's pastimes about the process of pure bhakti, as it has been given by those who have that commodity. If we read the books of Srila Gurudev or we read the books of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, yeah. Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, it is like Gurudev says, direct association with them. It is one of the best ways of Sadhu Sangha. All our acharyas are recommending. If we have no good association, which is most of the time we don't have good association. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes once a day we can hear Harikata from elevated Vaishnava, but the rest of the day we don't have such good association. We engage in so many activities, cooking, Naga Sankirtan, book distribution, all to help others, but sometimes we become overwhelmed by the situation and we become helpless, isn't it? <laughs> Because Maya is very strong, the material energy is extremely powerful. And Krishna wants that 24 hours a day we should be associating with Him. With Him means Yasya Deva Para Bhakti Yata Devita Raguru Tatarta Shaita Katita Hyarta Prakhe Santa Mahatmana. You know the meaning of this sloka, Kamala Devi. Sita, you will know. Yeah, that if we have uh, put our faith and we serve that personality, uh, same as him, give him the same respect and consider him the same as Krishna, then all the revealed scriptures will <coughs> manifest in the heart of that person. If we dedicate with the same energy that we dedicate towards Krishna, uh, para bhakti, we have heard what is para bhakti. Para bhakti means that bhakti which completely yeah, gives happiness to Krishna. And that para bhakti, para means what? You know what para bhakti is? So it really is. Pure? Pure. Topmost. Topmost. Yeah. What is top mouth bhakti? Yeah, but it's not covered, covered, but there's without any desire for any, any, anything else but... Yeah, so you remember that mm -hmm. sloka? Mm -hmm. Understand? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What is the term of acting? Now, big problem is that we want to give bhakti to Krishna, but we have never met Krishna, isn't it? Have we met Krishna? Not in this life. Not in this life. We don't have. It. Now, Krishna is there in deity form, but he doesn't speak with us. Last night, Gaudi Vilasini came at 10. 30, as he said, oh my God, I forgot to put Krishna to rest. Yeah. What to do? Because they were sleeping here. Yeah. And Krishna, he is like, yeah, has to stand up whole night. But if we disturb the devotees, so, you remember last night? You forgot to put Krishna to rest. Yeah. So what to do? Yeah. Krishna will not speak. So what bhakti we can give to Krishna? Yeah, even though Krishna is there in his deity form, but he is not speaking. Yeah. Sri Guru Dev said, if he would speak to you, you would run away. You cannot serve him. You cannot serve Krishna. Ah, yeah. He will chastise you all the time. Why you did not come to give me massage? Why I, all night I am cold? You don't give me any blanket. Yeah. Sometimes you come and do arti. Sometimes you come and do arti at eight o'clock in the morning. Sometimes at six o'clock. Sometimes you don't forget everything. Yeah. So then Krishna will become very angry, and we will say, Krishna, don't bother me anymore. <laughs> One time there was a movie in India, and the person he was very poor. He worked in a hotel, and he. His wife was very religious. Uh, every day she would offer arti to Krishna. And he had some children also, three children, one daughter, two sons. Yeah. A movie, yeah. And he was doing arti to Krishna every day. And he going to his job every day. And he was always thinking, if I have money, then everything will be successful. Yeah. So, his wife doing puja every day, and he told her, why don't you ask Krishna to give us money? She said, no, we will not be happy by money. We will be happy only if we have bhakti for Krishna. Yeah. He said, anyhow, one day he was so fed up, he went to a local mandir, there was a local mandir, and he took big, he big uh, size of incense. He had understood if you offer me some incense, Krishna, then, then I will be very pleased. So he offered 50 sticks of incense, and he said, "Krishna, give me money, give me money." We were recently in New Zealand, yeah, and the devotees were telling that there, when the people come to the temple, they are singing like this. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Krishna, give me house, give me car, give me lots of money in the bank. Om Jai Jagadisa Hari. <laughs> so he said, most people come to pray to Krishna for these things. So this person, he was offering so many incense sticks. And he prayed, Krishna, Krishna, give me money. And I will prove you, if you give me money, yeah, I will give something for you also, and I promise you I will be happy. He didn't say what he will give. No, he didn't say what he will give, but I will also give something to you if you give me money, Krishna. 
Then what happened? Some person came running there and he lost his suitcase and the police following him. And police didn't see that he lost his suitcase. And, the, and that person who was doing the prayer, he found the suitcase. It was just outside the mandir and it was full with money. Yeah. So I thought Krishna, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> then first thing he did, he went to his, his boss. His boss had a hotel, a big hotel. And he said to the boss, how much is the hotel. price of your hotel? And then he said, so much. He said, here, I give you cash. Now I want to be the owner of the hotel. So that person, he took the cash and he took over the hotel. And he went home, he said, oh, today, very lucky. Look what I found, yeah. And then his wife said, I'm very worried, yeah. It may not, it may cause so many problems. No, what problems? Now we will be happy. Everything will be okay. And then, at night, when he took rest, Krishna came in his dream. Actually, he manifested in the room. He said, so, now you have received money, and you think you will be happy. But, remember, you also promised something for me. He said, yes, yes, I know. I will give you later. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> so, he bought a hotel, and he was very successful in business. So, he bought another hotel, and another hotel. But then his children grew up. And his children, two sons, he put in charge of managing the hotels. And time to time, when he was in his, in the, in his dreams, yeah, he would he bought a bigger house and life had some area for puja. But he didn't spend any money for Krishna. Then yeah. Krishna came again in his dream. So he said, "Where is my share?" Yeah. Then he said, "Krishna." You have everything anyway. Everything belongs to you. Why you are so worried that I should give you something? Yeah. I will prove you that by money I can be happy and everything will be safe. Oh, really, Krishna says. Let us see what will happen. Anyhow, a long story, make it short. His children, they took over the management of the hotel chain and his daughter went to study in England. And he said, so you see Krishna, now my daughter can study in England, she will be very responsible. Mm -hmm. And then he heard the news, daughter in England, mm -hmm. she became pregnant by any boyfriend mm -hmm. and oh, so many problems. His sons, instead of pure ghee, they put mustard oil in the restaurant and all the complaints came and his reputation went down and down and down. So he had to take so many medicines. Yeah. And Krishna came again and said, what are you doing now? I told you, yeah, money will not make you happy. And by the way, where is my share? Said, Krishna, <laughs> stay away. And then Krishna came looking around in his medicine cupboard. And he said, oh, livo sin, then uh, brain, sin. brain sin, kidney sin. So many medicines were there and everything Brain's ended sin. with sin. Yeah, my sin, 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 sin. So, so Krishna said, what is all this about? Yeah, You have committed so many sins and that is why you will get so many reactions. Medicine. Yeah, and you never gave anything to me. Yeah, So this is the reality yeah, in the world. We are sometimes putting our faith in the things of this world. Not sometimes, all the time. <coughs> and we think that by this process, I will be more happy and feel more qualified to serve Krishna. But our acharyas are telling, especially Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, yeah, there is a process yeah, that will make us happy and perfect. Yeah. And that process is to become selfless, to not, not worry for the things that we need for this body. But worry for the things that we need for the Atma. Yeah. That is real selfishness. Yeah, pure selfishness. And that is material selflessness. If we become aware that I am Atma, how do we become aware of that? There is only one process, yeah, which Shaitanya Mahaprabhu has given, and which we have received from our Gurudev. Yeah. That is the process of Harinam. If we chant Harinam, 
regularly. I think all of you are chanting. How many rounds are you chanting every day? No, I'm not regularly. Sometimes I chant a lot, sometimes I don't chant. I chant only one round or two rounds. Okay. But regularly, I take care of my takoji that I'm very, very regular. Even if there is a drama in the day, I do it. Okay, Ridai. 16 years. 16 rounds yeah. every day. And, uh, it's a very one day I have a good chunk with uh, my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many rounds? When I have time, 16, when I'm walking, 10. I'm 10, 10, eh? 10. And your Diksha mantras every day you are doing? Yeah. In the 33. Me too, I'm doing one day, at least one Diksha every day. Okay. So it's really... At least. Uh, <clears throat> every day? Yes. But not... Uh, not yes. Like eight. Eight, eight rounds. Yeah. Every day, okay. for sure. And, and uh, when I have time, 16. When you have time, 16. Mm. And Diksha Mantra, you yes. will Every day, three mm. times. No. Two times on morning. Morning you do mm. two times, mm. and in the evening one time? Uh, sometimes it's difficult because in the evening uh, I'm not in my house and I, I walk in, so... Yeah. You are doing everything for <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Sometimes you have too much work to do. It's easy. Yeah. In, yeah. in India it's easy. Yeah. In London you have too much service yeah. sometimes. Oh, uh, I, I'm, uh, I, we try, isn't it, to, sometimes I'm like, maybe one day I have so much thing to do, yeah. but I don't feel satisfied. No. When the day is finished and I've done apparently many things, but I haven't really tried to do what I'm supposed to, but for me, for myself, and I'm yeah. like, the next day I'm like, you know, I, I fell the day before I, I, I've lost it. Right. So, yeah, I try, I try to be fixed every day, otherwise my mind gets frustrated. <laughs> How long you are doing every day? Not very good since I got back from India. Oh. In India it was a breeze and now I'm back and it's just constant. I think because now there's only two of us running the temple and it was, when it was ten it was easier. When we are in India we are kept free because there is no Easy. such responsibility. Mm, yeah. 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 And everything is Just much, chanting much easy. guitar, it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> to chop a few veggies. Every day you are chanting, remembering. Why? We can chant. So it's only me who is so... No, dark. all of us. No, we are. Just saying in India it's okay, but in London it's not easy. It is very essential yeah, that we chant. Yeah. If we chant Krishna's names, especially if we have received Harina from pure devotee, yeah, Srila Gurudev in proper Parampara, yeah. If we chant, it is our lifeline. Yeah. We are connecting every day in computer. We have wireless computer, isn't it? Yeah. Telephone. Mm. But Mahamantra is direct connection mm -hmm. with who created the computer, who created the telephone, who created everything in this world. And who is filled with love and who wants to give love, love only. If we want to chant yeah, more and more, if that is our heart's desire, Krishna will help us. We should think that chanting is our lifeline. And why we are doing it? I'll share a little sh story with you. One devotee came to India, a young boy, maybe 14 years old or 12 years old. <laughs> He's 12 years old, he comes to India and he goes with his mother. They were in Puri together. And mother, her birthday, yeah, it was her birthday the next day. And boy is very nice. He, although he is going to school in Western country, sometimes his mind is not able to do all the things like we, our mind becomes disturbed. But he is very nice son yeah so that day his mother's birthday so they went to so many places for pilgrimage by bus also at the end of the day he told his mother mother he said today for you i want to give you a present then mother said oh 
what present you have for me, I will be so happy. He said, I, today I have chanted 64 rounds for you. Yeah. <laughs> Mother was very happy and she shared that with others. Yeah. Then, for you, not for Krishna, I chant for his, for his mother. I made yeah. the austerity to be able to, to chant. To please his mother. His mother was very happy. Son, can you believe 64 rounds? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you chant 64 rounds? Sometimes, rarely actually. Rarely, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But have, when we have seva, what to do? But chanting is, chanting is also seva. Chanting yeah, is... Will the, other, yeah, will the other things get done if we just chant? Yeah. That's what I, I'd like to Actually, say. there is a secret. Mm -hmm. The more you chant, Srila Gurudev, mm -hmm. how much did he do? Yeah, but he was chanting purely. Right, right. Still. <laughs> really? Gurudev, how much did he do? He collected all of us. He brought mm -hmm. us all close to him. <coughs> and he always saw all the things. But he chanted every day 64 rounds. And the others were doing the thing. At uh, what time? I... No. What do you mean? He was involved with everything. He was translating books, yeah, speaking Harikata, giving darshan, mm. doing mm. correspondence, yeah, engaging mm. telephone, calling here and there, house, everything. Yeah. I was with Sri Gurudev and I saw he is actually, although he was very humble, and said, I am not doing anything, but he was doing. Mm -hmm. Through him, Gurudev did so many, uh, Krishna did all the things. So then, Gurudev chanting every day, one man. In morning he would get up, 3.30, and chant. Yeah, first is prayers, chanting prayers for half an hour. Yeah. Then, bathroom, everything, anik, arti, and chanting, up till 7, 7.30 chanting about 30,000 rounds. Yeah, that is about 20 rounds or so. Yeah. Then breakfast, yeah, little rest, then start writing. Then up till 12 o'clock, yeah, he would chant another 20,000 or 25,000 rounds, which is 16 rounds. Yeah, how do you know? All the material things to manage, people coming and so on. Yes. And do the counting and so on, as I saw him. Yes. He will manage to chant yes. 20 more rounds. In the afternoon, oh, after taking Prasad little rest, yeah. till 2.30, again he will chant. Yeah. Up till 4 and then translate. And then class. Yeah. And then before taking rest, mm -hmm. he will chant the mm -hmm. final 16 or whatever rounds was left yeah. in his mosquito net or bed, always chanting, chanting. Mm -hmm. So like that, yeah, and also studying books, preparing for class, so many things could they ever do. Why is that? Because, as Kamala Devi telling, chanting pure name. Mm -hmm. But it is said by all our acharyas, they are teachers, they are perfect. If we want to become perfect, we have to practice. If we practice, practice makes a man, practice makes a lady, perfect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If we don't practice, if you want to become expert in anything, you must practice. But this chanting is most important. Imagine if some of us become very expert and dedicated to chanting and remembering. Buddha one time told this to his sannyasis. One sannyasi, he was doing something which was not proper. Yeah. And Gurudev heard that he, and he was nearby, so Gurudev called him and he asked him, why did you do this? Why did you say this? Yeah. Is it correct that you said, and then, oh Gurudev, I had no bad intention, but anyhow it came, Gurudev said, I'm very unhappy with you. Yeah. Then he said, how many rounds are you chanting? Then the sannyasi replied, I am chanting, sometimes 16 rounds, yeah. sometimes a little more, sometimes less. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gurudev became very concerned mm -hmm. and he chastised him. Actually, he gave him a big slap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like father, but father, the baby is not. And 
if you get slapped from Gurudev, or we wanted so much to get slapped from Gurudev. Because that is like, <laughs> it, when you get slapped, you wake up, mm. and at once you are <laughs> alert. Yeah. So then Gurudev slapped him. It's very strong. He said, if you do not chant 64 rounds every day, you cannot maintain your service as a preacher. If you want to preach the glories of the process of pure bhakti, the glories of our Guru Parampara, if you want to represent and you do not practice yourself, you cannot give anything. You will become weak and weaker and weaker and weaker. And you will become compromised by the material energy, the sense of gas. They will capture you and you will think that what you did, yeah, is service, but really it is disservice. Sometimes the devotees we see, yeah. they are sannyasi, they give up their sannyas ashram, they become, yeah, grihastra, but Gurudev said, this is not a... It's because they don't chant enough, or they don't chant to thinking... If you have no, if you do anything, suppose you chant every day 64 rounds. In beginning, must be some fall there because we are not aware of our real identity. So the more we are not aware of who we really are, the more we identify with that who we are not. You met sometimes a person who is bipolar? Yeah? What is the symptom? A person who is bipolar. Yeah. Bipolar? Bipolar, yeah. What is the symptom? We have a dear Sanyasi here in France. Yes. Who is? Bipolar. Yeah. 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 Actually, in this world, everyone is bipolar. You know that? Yeah. In this world? In this world, yeah. Some are, some are tripolar. <laughs> quad, quad. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Why is that? Because we have one nature which is our acquired nature, our acquired identity. And we think, I am male, I am female, I am young, I am old, I am smart, I am intelligent. This is wrong. We are not of this. Yeah. We are spirit soul. We have the possibility to liberate the whole universe. You know that? One spirit soul who is perfect can liberate the whole universe. You know that? And we want to be number one in the world in sports or in politics or anything. Or even we want so many positions in spiritual societies. But we don't understand. If we purify our Atma, then we can set ablaze the whole universe. Srila Gurudev telling, one pure devotee yeah, can liberate the whole universe. How does he do it? How does he do it? It will start a way when we see it is happening. Why we are enthusiastic for bhakti? Because Gurudev has put some match, isn't it? He has put some fire. And if we come together, it becomes bigger fire. And it starts to blaze. Yeah? That is the revolution of Krishna consciousness. That Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj started. He put so many who are completely conditioned on fire. And what was the fire? Para bhakti, yeah. the bhakti that we give to Krishna, we give it yasya deva para bhakti, yata deva tata guru. If we give the same bhakti that we give to Krishna to Gurudev, yeah. then all the purpose of the shastras we will realize in our heart. But we have not met Krishna, so how can we give bhakti that we give to Krishna to Gurudev? Big dilemma, isn't it? How to solve this, this dilemma, this problem? I have to become little, how you call it, retrospective or introspective. introspective. So, yeah. you think how to give the bhakti to Gurudev, the bhakti that we give to Krishna, how to give it to, to Gurudev? Yes. But it's the same if we give to Krishna, we give to Gurudev. But, but what are we giving to Krishna? Why to differentiate them? No, my question is, what are we giving to Krishna? What we, the same thing we have we not met, met, we have not met Krishna. 
No, but we are giving to Gurudev and giving Gurudev gives to Krishna, no? Yes. Are you saying if we have no bhakti, what can we offer? Oh, yeah, okay. Go back to your offering. You understand? Yes. If we don't know, Krishna says, I am in my murti, I am directly there, but we. we <laughs> and Gurudev says, You want to worship murti? No. Very good. You want to worship giriras? Yeah. It means that. Krishna becomes your child. You have murti in your home? No? Good. <laughs> you have murti deities? Good. But they said, if we have deities, have to look after them like our own children. Have to feed them. Have to sometimes yeah, have to worry that they should not be called. Yeah. We put the heater on in our room and we turn the heater off in Krishna's room. Yeah. I don't know. We first put it to Krishna. Yes. After it's Krishna is hot, so we can put it for us. Yes. So all these things, but we why we don't know because we have no transcendental senses. So we don't. We think Krishna is there, but he's also a marble or he's also brass. Yeah. But really. Tell something about that. Well, once a devotee in Vrindavan, she was feeling cold, and I was not. And uh, I said to her, did, did, did you put a coat on, on your takoji, a woolen coat, a chada? Did you yeah. give a chada? She said, no, I didn't. And she did so. And I saw meet her 10 days after. And she said, no, it's OK. I'm, I'm not cold anymore. Yes, if you look after Krishna, yeah, yeah. then Krishna will look. Krishna looks anyway after us. Yeah. Whether we acknowledge him or not. But the area here which we are conservatives, if we want to give bhakti, para bhakti, to Gurudev, the same way that we give to Krishna, it means that Gurudev is also Krishna. Para bhakti, Gurudev is Ashraya Bhagavan. Ashraya Bhagavan means he represents Sri Krishna in this world, like an ambassador, like a representative of a company. If you are interested to work for a company, maybe some of us work for any company. You are working for a company? For your father or? For some devotee. Some devotee, So you have to communicate with the devotee, yeah? And if he is not there, you have to communicate with someone who is representing him, right? So we all have to enter an area where we desire to go you know, by communication. If we want to enter the area of love and affection, pure love and affection, para bhakti, it can only be done through the representative, and that is the pure devotee, who is not different from Sri Krishna. By offering our everything to him, yeah, then everything which is needed to know what is the essence of the scripture, will come and manifest in our hearts. What is the essence of all scriptures? Sita Dr. Rani. Sorry? 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 Um, I mean, so yeah, to, to, to chant this holy name in association with the pure devotees following uh, under their guidance. Those are uh, associates who we, ha we aspire to have a move like they have to serve Krishna. You have read all the scriptures? Me, no. <laughs> what is the essence of all the scriptures? What did you last uh, It's Krishna, because it's Him who created the scriptures. Yeah, I think like chanting and the guidance in Vrindavan, being absorbed in the mood that you're aspiring for. Is kind of... So <coughs> Yes. Um, to be aware of chanting, I don't know. Chanting, I don't know. But, but chanting, uh, in consciousness, in consciousness. Krishna consciousness. Mm. 
relationship we should we should materialize the end the yes. final end of the scriptures yes no i will say the same thing to you but you got something yes so i'm thinking christian friends yes but also rupa goswami says the essence of all advice is living in the and here So Krishna Prem is the goal and I guess that is the Abhidaya, the, the process. The process. You know that shloka? Tanama Rupa Charita Adi Shukirta Nama Shmiti Okta Mena Rasa Nama Nesti Nima Nesti Nima Nesti Stan Bradye Vidana Ravi Ranagami Kalam Akhila Iti Upadeshya Sanam Prabhu is also initiated? Yes. Uh, your name Prabhu? Krishna Kripa? How long you are devotee? I'm Chief Koi Kripa. I think you look for more. 20 years. 20 years. Huh? What is the essence of all the scriptures? Would the left one have told you what happened? The left one You can speak in French, no problem. Oh. Our first spiritual master, who is our first spiritual master? Brahma. Brahma, Lord Brahma. Adi Guru, he is Adi Guru. Guru. When he created the whole world, then he was in big dilemma. He thought, what is the reason why I am engaged in this process? What is the welfare yeah, for all living entities? He could not understand. He was puzzled. Yeah. What is the purpose of this creation? And what did he do? How did he do? Uh, did he meditate? Did he tap up or meditate? He did meditation. Yes. Yeah. What more did he do? But That's facing out. What's the question? Facing out. <laughs> no, Bhag <laughs> Brahmaji. <laughs> 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 When Brahmaji created the whole material creation, he was thinking, what is the purpose of this creation? How can the living entities be benefited? What is the ultimate benefit for everyone? So what did he do? What did he do? Yeah. He has a lot of time, Brahmanji. Yeah. So he studied all the Vedas three times. Oh, he studied the Vedas? All the Vedas three times. Wow. We have no time to do that. So he did it for us. He is our teacher. Like Mara said last night, our spiritual masters have done everything for us. They have presented the conclusion. Mm. So he studied the Vedas, all the Vedic literatures, Upanishads, yeah, and all the Puranas, yeah, Mahabharat, yeah, Ramayan, everything, three times. And then he came to a conclusion. What conclusion he arrived at? Um. <laughs> <laughs> he arrived at the conclusion that the ultimate benefit for all living entities is, yeah, that they can establish their natural, loving relationship with Sri Krishna. That is the whole purpose of creation, to provide opportunity for the living entities to realize their natural, constitutional, loving relationship with Sri Krishna. So Gurudev always emphasizes this very much. This is Parabhakti. Parabhakti is yeah, Parakya. No, one question comes. Why? So if it's if it if it, if it is really that, so why does Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doesn't come to each in each yoga? He comes. Each. He comes every day. Brahma. For us, no, it's a Chaitanya long time. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants us to have this relationship. Yes. Without him, we cannot have this relationship. That is true. So why does why does he come? He's not he's not coming often. <coughs> he comes once every day. 
Now, Gurudev said that he was coming from sometimes in Kali Yoga, but not in all the Kali Yoga, no. so we are very lucky that he has come. Because in, if you see the time span, yeah, it's in eternity, if we trans okay. no, transcend or we go into the realm of eternity, that there is no present, no past, no future, as we perceive it here. Mm -hmm. There everything is eternal. Mm -hmm. Eternal presence is there. Mm -hmm. yeah. The time spent there, like in a moment, yeah, what we are experiencing here, in terms of time, it is because we are conditioned by Krishna's Daivi Maya, his Maya, his material mm -hmm. energy. But he comes every day as Sitatani Mahaprabhu. Every day of Lord Brahma, he comes as Sitatani Mahaprabhu. So, actually, he comes quite a few times, and his glories are always present. But one yeah. day of uh, Brahma is millions of years, no? It's true, yeah. <laughs> For us. But if you see here in this world a, f a small fly, a firefly, they exist for how many seconds? Yeah. Very short life, and we are having 100 years, so it is all relative. Yeah. The real fact is that the living entity is eternal. It is not able to destroy the living the, the spirit soul, it is eternal. But we are identifying with the body, therefore we think a long time, and why Krishna is not coming more often, <laughs> yeah. Actually, Krishna is always there, watching all living entities and guiding them and giving them opportunity to come to their senses yeah. through this process of chanting pure name. Krishna says, I am non different from my name, Nama Chitamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Sigraha. He is non different from the holy name. And we have received this holy name from your representative of Krishna, Sri Guru. If we want to perfect our chanting, we will automatically realize who we are. There is no other process. We may do so many things, and you may do. You may do book distribution for the rest of your life, but if you do not chant, you will give up book distribution also, and you will become a sales lady or a salesman. Uh, we have seen so many devotees expert in book distribution, but not chanting, no desire to honor the ideal advice of the spiritual master, what Gurudev has really given us. Gurudev didn't give us ability to distribute books. He gave us the encouragement to chant Harinam. And if we do that, book distribution will follow automatically. Yeah. Was, um, was Lord Brahma also chanting? Lord Brahma, was he also chanting? Lord Brahma, he was meditating upon Sri Krishna mm. and studying all the Vedas. And he said the process by which to obtain our natural, transcendental, loving, constitutional relationship with Sri Krishna is through the process of Harina and Sankirtan. Yeah. She was, was asking if he, if he was chanting. He was doing a lot of service. Chanting the Mahamantra. He was meditating on. Not chanting the Mahamantra. I was just wondering. I don't because he seems yes. so extremely busy creating. Everything. Before he started creation, he was doing tapa, and, yeah. and he has received from Krishna himself. He's the only one who's directly initiated by Krishna. <laughs> Come, Gayatri is chanting. Yeah. <laughs> And he manifests here time to time, he comes to Srila Haridas Thakur. He gets a chance to chant. Any chance. Three like he does. That's all he does. He takes a break. He can chant. So you have to also manifest in two. Yeah. Yeah, one part. But I tell you one other story. Srila Bhakti Pramod Purida Sauvi Maharaj. He was doing so much editorial service. Yeah, yeah. So much producing. Transcendental literature, and he could not chant so much. Then he went to Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada and he asked, he said, I have a big dilemma, I have so much service. Every month I have to produce Patrika and so many other services for publication. So he said, I cannot complete my Harina, 64 rounds. Then Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada said, sleep less, 
Yeah, eat less, but must complete your 64 rounds every day. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> it is big opportunity, challenge, but if we apply our dedication in that area, and especially if we see this is directly connecting us with Gurudev. Why? Because it is Gurudev's direct order to each and every one of us. Yeah, yeah. That's true. It is his only and foremost direct order to chant, meditate upon our Harinam and Diksha Mantras. Gurudev mm -hmm. writes in the chapter of cleaning the Gondicha temple. You've read that book, mm -hmm. original mm -hmm. Rati Yatra. Yeah. There's no time to read, perhaps. No, no, I'm reading. If you go to uh, Puri, sometimes they are discussing the Gundicha temple cleaning. You remember the festival of Ratha Yatra? Yeah, 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 the yeah. temple. So Gurudev yeah. writes there, yeah, yeah. if we clean our hearts of all the dust, all the storms, yeah, we cannot, because we are helpless, yeah. We are overburdened by all the impressions. But he said, if we follow Gurudev's order and chant Harina, and Diksha Mantras, then Gurudev will do the rest. Gurudev is like a friend, Srinivatam Swakatam Krishna. In our heart he is, he is sitting permanently, and he wants to clean everything. But we have no interest to have a relationship with him in the mood of assisting him in his service. Yeah. This is our opportunity. Gurudev says, pray to me yeah, that you will assist me. Yeah. Gurudev should manifest in our heart how he is serving Radha and Krishna and Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And if we pray to him to manifest, but we say, he's manifesting, in, but I want to be busy with so many things in this world, it will not work. If we pray to him, manifest in my heart, so that I may assist you in some small capacity in your service, in the transcendental world and also in this world. Yeah? In this world, Gurudev's service is to distribute this process of pure Krishna consciousness by distributing the books, the words of our pure devotees and doing what we are doing to please them. If we chant to please Gurudev, you will feel reciprocation. Yeah. And then relationship becomes thicker and thicker. Yeah. Whenever we chant, we feel like connecting at once without internet, without any <coughs> telephone. At once, connection with Transcendental world with the representative who wants only to bring us in that area. So today we stop here. If you I have any questions. Well. Yeah. Uh, only Rita Yananda gave a little of his time to help to organize the festival, but I didn't have more help because I don't chant enough. Oh, so uh, because I chant sometimes during one hour or two hours a day. In a train, one hour going, one hour coming. Yes. So, so he came a little. But if, <laughs> but if I were, were have been chanting more, I would have had more help to organize, no? You have been. Yeah, your, the conclusion. I think yeah. it's logic. I, I feel it uh, natural. I if, feel it natural. If we engage more and more in the primary angas of bhakti, especially mm -hmm. chanting, then all the things that are necessary will be easily. Done. Provided and performed. Oh, I think I see. I, I, for for me, I, think, I don't know if for us, but for me, sometimes it's difficult to kind of adjust because over the years, uh, I've always chanted and I've, I've always chanted like thirty-two rounds, and right. that and that was that was, I felt satisfied by at least doing that. But sometimes I'm not, but not really because I, so many other things. I give my priority to the. Because they've always he always spoke to us about this. I, this did not really book distribution. How we had to be ideal, doing our service, and so uh, do centers all over the world. We've always like concentrate. Like now, uh, sometimes we are uh, now that we have three places, we spend sometimes hours talking to the girls. Yeah, this is because amazing. you know, someone they have this relationship problem or that problem, yeah. and then we talking and talking, and sometimes we spend hours on this kind something that seems unavoidable. So I mean, maybe it's something that I need to readjust because I haven't. Like even one time, I remember. I was really trying to channel like like again because when yeah. I was in India it was very easy and every day I could channel like and do service and do everything but as soon as I came to the West then I was like it was so like difficult to combine both things 
And then I remember that I was hearing, I was hearing a lot from one Vaishnava, and he was saying, one laugh, one laugh, one laugh, one laugh, one laugh, one laugh, one laugh. And I was like, yeah, what is that? And I was trying and trying, and really trying and really trying. And when I came back to the West, also really trying, trying. So yeah, I was not doing that. So really trying. And then I remember I went to India after being West, and he and he asked, Chant, yeah, continue chanting one laugh. Ah, no, no. Uh, oh, how was it like that? He was always like that, but chanting well, like yeah, so it was always like that. And then I thought maybe I need to do those blessings so that I can chant because I tried. It seems that like it's not possible for me. And then I, I remember going to do there, and then I said to him, I, 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 I said, please do that. bless that. I want to chant one line. I don't know, but I need your blessing because I cannot. And then he, he goes to me and he says, but if you channel a lot, how will you do other things? And I couldn't understand what he was saying because I thought, is he cheating me? Is he being sarcastic? Is he being, you know? So I, I, at the moment, I thought, you know, he's just saying that I do a lot of nonsense. So how will you do all the nonsense if you chant? I couldn't. And then after I thought, I don't know. He didn't really, you know, he could have just said, uh, yeah, yes. Are you asking what that means? Huh? Yeah. Our goal is to come closer to Guru and Krishna. Mm -hmm. And the process is to engage in activities which are the angas or the, the primary angas of bhakti. If we chant yeah, Harina, Guru Dev said we should chant with attention and with dedication. If we don't have so much taste, we chant according to our capacity, whether it is four rounds or eight rounds. Yeah. I have is, taste, I love to chant. When take? I start to chant, I like it a lot, no, but no. I don't like, have time. Like, when I like Guru to Dave, chant, Guru Dave give so us, much love. When Guru Dev gives us the, ma the, the mala, every one of us, on one side is 16, right? Mm. Other side is four. Mm. So if you chant four rounds, then four come down, Guru Dev said. Then one comes down here. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you can chant four rounds, and then another one comes down, right? So you can do, choose either sixteen times four or four times sixteen. <laughs> but start with something. Start with four. If you cannot start with sixteen, start with four, and one comes down, and try to concentrate. Yeah. Krishna, I give you quality time, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening. It's no hard. And then, every day you chant, then gradually, gradually, you 